Are you a prosperity preacher, sir?
friends you and you made a way that you can be friends you. But we have all sin. The Bible says we've all sinned. We've fallen short of God's glory. And because we've all sinned, we commit crimes against God. We must get right with God and turn from our sins in a wicked way. And you know what the God is true. It truly loves you. You are very nice, but our nice just doesn't count on the day of judgment. You're very giving. Good. 
Thank you for that amen. Turn from this. Bible says. Hey, how are you? God bless you. God bless you. Either you're following the Jesus of the Bible, or you're following the Jesus of your made up preacher gospel. If I had a nickel for every gospel, I'd be a rich man. And guess what? There's only one gospel that saves. Either it resurrected your soul, or you found the wrong gospel. The gospel is powerful, it resurrects the soul, it brings a mighty man to his knees, it leaves you saying, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. The whole earth is full of his glory. Either that happened to you, or there's a good chance that you're still not Christian. Christianity is separate from the world, not of the world. Amen? We're in this world because now we're like pilgrims. We get born again and we turn from the things of this world and follow the Lord Jesus Christ with all of our heart. The Bible says if you seek the Lord with all of your heart, He will be found of you. Amen. And if you really find God, the things of this world will grow strangely dim. If you really find the real God, the things of this world will mean nothing to you anymore. They will lose their shine. The riches and fame of this world will lose their shine. You know why? Because they're worthless. They don't mean anything. The things that are eternal. Set your faith, set your affections on that which is above, amen. Set your heart on the kingdom of God. The Bible says the kingdom of God is the He sells everything. He sells everything to know who God really is. He gives up his whole life to follow the Lord Jesus Christ. He is called the pearl of great Christ. If you didn't pay a lot for your Jesus, you don't know Jesus. Amen. God bless you, brother. Power of God. Resurrect souls. Whenever you're ready to get real with God, He'll get so real with you. Behold the power of God Almighty. He will do it. He created the whole world. Amen. Hey, careful. Be quiet. Watch the road. That's a, that's a hazard right there. I know I'm preaching good, but you can't stop the living right now. So preach. Amen. My dear friends, I have a message of hope for you. There's a hope of glory. His name is the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the God of the Bible. He is the God of everything. He created everything with the palm of His awesome blood-stained hands. Why are they blood-stained? Because He died on the cross for your sins. To bring fellowship back with the, with the God the Father and us. He did it so he can, we can be in love with Him for the real. because they want to find out what real life is all about. Some people want to live in darkness. The Bible says even his best people, his own people, want to live in darkness. At one point, the Bible says his remnant turns their back on God. The whole world turns their back on God. On the world. And guess what happens? People make a false religion. People make a false religion in place of God. And then they gather at a cross, but they don't get on the cross, and nor do they know God. And nor do they get holy, like God says, you will be made holy. He says, I will do a work in your heart. I will cleanse you of your idols. I will cleanse you of your filthiness and all the things of this world. I will do a work in your heart, and I will get the glory for everything that happens in your life. That is what God does in your life. If that's not what happens...
put away the junk that is obvious and get on your knees and beg God for mercy because there's going one day when mercy is cut off forever. One day it'll be cut off forever. And you can't repent anymore. I'm begging you to get real with God. God loves you so much. He sent His only Son to die on the cross for your sins. God loves you with an everlasting love. Amen. 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 Good on you. God bless you, sister. You get a comic book? No, thanks. Either you're living for God or the devil. Nothing else. God bless you, my friend. Want a comic book? The Bible says that the God of this world is the devil. So if you make yourself a friend of this world, you have made yourself God's enemy. Even if it looks positive, even if it looks cutting edge, even if it looks progressive, guess what? It's still the devil. That's what God says. If we want to put our opinions over God, that means we're going to make a God of ourselves. Jesus said, you want to follow me? Deny yourself. Take up your cross and follow me. If you really want God, you can really have him. But one day, it will be too late. So consider this to be your final warning. Not to be mean, but because I love you. One day I'm going to die preaching the gospel because people are turning further and further from God. The Bible says there's going to be people who think they're serving God and they're going to kill the true church thinking they're serving God. And on that day of reckoning, all things will be clear. All things will be clear on that last day. When God has the final say, He is a God of great mercy and love, but He's a God of justice, and He will judge the quick and the dead, as He says, according to the Word of God, the Bible. How are you? God bless you. The Lord loves you. All things work together for good in your life if you love the Lord. If you love God, you hate sin. If you love God, you obey His commandments. That's what He says. If my people will turn, if my people who are called by His name will turn from their wicked ways, and you'll hear from heaven and heal the land. God bless you. Praise the Lord. God bless you. You ain't got no sin. Be quiet. God loves you so much, you guys. He died on the cross for your sins. Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. Oh, I've heard that a hundred times. But you've avoided it a hundred times, hypocrite. If you heard the gospel and you turned about it, and when you get to hell, welcome home. You picked it. You want hell? You can have it. The whole world has just decided to go to hell. I don't, I, I don't get paid. <laughs> She's obeying the law, not like yourself. You didn't do anything wrong, sister. God bless you. Wow. <laughs> Jesus said, Think not that I've come to bring peace. He says, I've come to bring a sword. He wants to cut you off from the things you think are peace to show you who He really is. He is the Prince of all peace. It's a peace this world doesn't even understand. It is a peace that came from God and God alone. This world tries to identify itself with all kinds of different things. And they might sound good for a little while, but truly they are idolatry and they are only gratifying the flesh. They are not the spiritual God. They are not the Prince of Peace. It is not the real Jesus. It is a counterfeit that came from the pit of hell. He must be the burners. The Bible says to discern the spirit. Try the spirit to see if they are of God or not. Because many false prophets have gone into the world and they're deceiving many. Do not turn from the soul. It could be your last soul. This could very well be your last soul, my dear friend. Do you have any plans on sinning? Do you have plans on sinning? If you ask yourself in your heart. If you've got plans on sinning, please don't have plans on winning. Because you're not on the right team. Tell God you're done. There has to be a finality to your prayer line. Amen. Praise the Lord. God bless you. God bless you. There must be a finality to your prayer. When you say, God, my life is yours. 
or you haven't really been able to come to Christ the way He deserves to be came to. You haven't answered the true gospel. There are many false gospels out there that do not save. There are gospels out there that slay, and there's a gospel that does save. And when you get really saved, the things of this world will be behind you. You will not love sin, you will love God. God is calling us to holiness and separateness from the things of this world, because this world belongs to the devil. This world belongs to the devil. If you love the things of this world, that means you love the devil's ways. You say, I'm not a Satanist. Well, you can talk to God about that when you die, okay? Sounds too blunt? Better to hear it now than on the day of judgment when you can't do anything about it. All right? I'm begging you right now. I don't get paid for this. I just get... The right, Bible says to store your treasures in heaven, so I guess I will get paid for this by God in the last day. Praise the Lord. God is one to be holy before Him. God is calling us to be holy before Him and to turn away from sin. If we answer this soul, God will redeem your soul. He will redeem your soul from certain destruction. God will redeem your soul and make you worthy to stand before the Father. He'll make your sins washed away. He'll make you pure and clean before a God who is radically holy. So different from the things of this world. The Bible says my thoughts are not your thoughts. God's thoughts are totally different from the way we think. Even though we have good intentions, that's wonderful. But the things of sin must be washed away. God bless you. God bless you. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. The whole earth is filled with His glory. The whole earth is filled with the glory of Almighty God. God loves you, and He's calling you on right now. The Lord calling you by His Spirit right now in your spirit, your stomach. Amen, brother. God of the Bible wants to be real with you. He wants to, he wants to be your father. Amen. He wants to be your father. He wants you to be your child. If you really become a Christian, you will be so in love with God that you won't even care about the things of this world. You'll be glad to throw them away. Can you imagine all the things that you used to love? Room in the dumpster because they're getting in the way of your love with God. That happened to me and a ton of other people throughout history. And God always raises somebody up to get out in the open air and preach. You know why? Because the preaching in the churches is too watered down and people aren't getting enough truth. And people on TV are begging for money and buying private jets instead of feeding the thousands and millions of people who are starving to death. Does that make any sense? No. Sounds like crazy to me. But if we follow the true God, we'll follow the 